Lisa, let's sing it. Just slow like, you know. Getting in the corner. Come over, come over, come over. I know you are excited about the Kenny Chesney concert, and I hope to see you there. But, yes, if you're wondering, I do have on my cowboy boots. <laughs> Because clearly you would wear a hippie headband and cowboy boots. And just for you girls over 40, just so you'll know, if you wear super, super short shorts, you know, we wear short shorts, y'all remember that? Then wear not a skin tight shirt, you know, or if you wear a skin tight shirt with a little cleavage showing, then wear some baggy hippie pants. This is how I feel good about it, you know, so moving on. What I wanted to say is one more quick Q&A. And um, I will get back to y'all more on these, and we'll do like a whole video series because there was a lot, and I started like, <laughs> because there was a lot, and I wanted to answer, and a lot of these things I've addressed in previous videos, and I'll point you in the way. And if I was really on board and really techno-savvy, I could say the link's down below, or I could say right here in the description box, or right here you can click on the link. I don't know how to do it, so anyway, we'll see what we can do. But... Heather, um, my friend Heather, hey girl, she was saying, what do you do if she is on a vegan diet? And y'all, she has uh, changed her name of her channel. I believe it's plant-based Heather. I will check. And um, anyway, tell us the name of it down below, Heather. So what she does is she's done some raw before and she's trying to find her way and her niche. And what she's doing is bringing her family on board the plant-based diet. And I think it rocks. So what she's asking me is she's trying to convert some some children her children over and some picky eaters too so the thing is she's doing a lot of faux meats and a lot of um different things like that and she's asking me i don't know how how raw you all want to be you know you have to get your goal in mind and your why the why behind what the heck you want to do is the important part but um, she's saying if, if you crave baked potatoes or cheeseburgers, um, what do you do about that? You know, what do you do about the cravings? Well, what I have found is when you, it's like somebody smoking. The longer you're off something, the less you crave it. But you know, it's like salt. That doesn't mean it's good for you just cause, because you want it, you know, or just because you want to smoke. That doesn't mean it's good for you. These things have to circulate out of your body. And I have found in the past that the more I went back to those things, the longer it took me to get off them. It's when I finally just cut the cord, you know, cut the chase and cut the crap that I started to heal. So it depends on where you want to be. However, what I think is you, a lot of people, there's gnats in here. You have to look at a, at a good, better, best version, you know? So on your dinner, would it be best to eat all white potatoes or would it be better to eat a big salad with that and a little bit of baked potatoes with a raw dressing would it be best to have an all raw meal in my eyes yes you would feel best but you have to work your way up and you don't have to beat yourself up and I think that's the name of the game, and it's hard when you're addressing a, a large group of people that are all on different playing fields um, you're clearly not going to tell the running backs the same thing as the quarterbacks. You know what I mean? And that may not have even fitted because I really don't watch sports. <laughs> but you see what I mean? Everybody, everybody's playing football, but we're all doing different things on the field, you know? So, um, the, another thing is this, creating the habit. It's just like, if I was to go to straighten my hair today, what a pain that would be. But if I was in the habit of doing it every day, it would just come second nature to me. And my hair would know what to expect. Your body's going to know what to expect when these things become second nature. And your new habits are your new rituals, you know. Your new moments adding to moments, creating momentum to get you where you want to be. You know, where you want to be, whether it's, I don't know if you're going out and getting smashed tonight and you're going to Waffle House after that. But you know what? You had a green smoothie for breakfast and you didn't have that for breakfast yesterday. So right on. You see what I'm saying? I think as in the vegan community, we have to start learning to love each other where people are. Because all this bickering and tearing down is doing nothing but tearing down our very small, small community. When we should be building each other up with 
love and light. I can watch Heather's channel or I can watch Jenny's channel um, of Team Broccoli and I can watch them and see they're doing a different thing than me. They're feeding their family. To, I don't really buy Christopher packaged faux meat and all that. He's never been into that and frankly it's expensive. I would prefer to make him like a vegan stew or sweet potatoes with a, a date sauce or those kind of things because that's what he's accustomed to. You know what I mean? He doesn't eat much salt and all these things. So, But I can watch their channel and definitely see value and definitely gain insights to different things by watching them and love them for what they're doing, you know. So I just wanted to say that and maybe we'll get some clips of the concert and y'all should really come over, you know. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> we don't have to miss each we other, other vegans. <laughs> We don't have to fix each other. Love each other where we are. Come over. You don't have to stay forever. Come over. <laughs> Shake it up. Hey, hey, I'm back again. So, let's see on the Q&A. Um, I can't read my writing. Let's see. Um, Everyday Happy Foods. Hey, that is Lisa from Charleston. Hey, girl, that's just three hours from me. And I'm thinking that this weekend, if Christopher's gone to the beach and he's going to Florida, and I might just get in my little car and I might just drive your way and I'll just be like a piece of bacon which is a bad example but laying out on the beach and just smelling in the salty air and the salty breeze but anyway she was asking me about sunscreen and what do I use um you know I when I put lotion on, I use coconut oil, and I find that that has a little bit of sunscreen in it, and I basically don't bake myself. Well, sometimes I do, but not in the hottest part of the day. I also feel like, I feel like skin problems come from within. You know, you go out there, you slather on these chemical sunscreens, typically, or whatever's going to stay on, or whatever was on sale at Walmart, and we put it on our skin and say, okay, and then our, then our pores open and it sucks in those toxins, you know, and then coming up to the surface are all the toxins inside, and then it's just sizzling on top of the skin, creating hello skin cancer. I just like to be free of that, and I like to put on a hat if I'm at the beach, or put on a shirt at certain times of the day, but if I start to see myself getting pink or whatever, I'll go in, but I just don't really wear sunscreen. Um, same thing with Christopher. I usually just send him with a shirt or hat, or and he's much more fair skin than I am. Um, now my daughter, she gets sun like I do. I don't burn that easily, but I will burn. And of course, if you're out there in the hottest part of the day, even if you're not getting red, you could be burning your skin and of course creating sun damage. And by the way, you know, I used to have a lot of sun damage on my skin. And over the years, the more greens and fruit I eat, th that lemon water also, I have a video coming to y'all about the benefits of that lemon water I drink every day. I really think that has helped detox and cleanse my skin and keep it clear and and really making it look better as the years go on um that i drink every day so i'm going to come to y'all with that video but anyway that was for you lisa and if i'm down there you should send me your your number in the comments and we could bake on the beach together you know we could speak of sunscreen and love and light um divine bag of sales hey girl she um she is star and i am awaiting your return on youtube girl because i love your videos she was saying, has my body temperature changed since I've been on raw vegan and fully raw? And yes, it has. My body temperature tends to be a little lower than the average, but I have several videos on how to how to stay warm on a raw vegan diet, especially in the winter. And um, I have learned to deal with that and adjust myself. But then again, even before I was raw and I had um, a very low iron, very low red blood cells, I was anemic, lots of these things, and my, my fingertips would actually turn blue and then turn white. Like I like from here up, they would be completely white with like no blood flow. Um, I used to do car duty outside for an hour, and it didn't matter if it was seven below. You were out there an hour. And um, 
I couldn't feel my hands for hours after I would come in from that. And um, I don't really have that problem anymore. I have good circulation. I want to get up and move. I'll get up and get on my rebounder. I do things to warm my body up, you know. Um, so that was for you, Star. Let's see. Um, Mako Key, M-A-C-H-O-K-E-E, -E, ask me about food combining. Do I not food combining, combine? And if if not, why? I do food combine. I use, um, I have a video called Food Combining Made Easy because I used to find that very daunting, like the task of trying to discern that and understand it in my mind. And so I, um, I made a video on what works for me. And, um, I, I do, I'm very mindful of what I combine. I've got to where I can combine several things in dressings, and even if I eat them, as long as I eat them over a large amount of greens, I digest that fine, which is very helpful lately. But, um, yes, I'm very mindful of that, so try to check out that video, so that was for you. Um, rawfully underscore happy. Hey, friend. They ask me what dehydrator I use, and I use an Excalibur dehydrator. It is for Trey, and I've had it 10 years, and it still runs like new. Somebody asked me what kind of rebounder I have. I have a Rebound Air, and I bought it refurbished um, from the Rebound Air company, and it folds in half, and it has a travel case. It's still very heavy, but you could take it along. And I've had that a long time, almost 11 years now, and it bounces like new. So anyway, that's all for today because it's time for the concert. It is time for pickup, and I am ready, you know. Do y'all want to come? I'll see if I have time on this video to give y'all some clips and um, several other fabulous country male artists are going to be on that stage, and that's exciting. Y'all know it is. <laughs> Of talking about low fat raw vegan. <laughs>